Reflecting on some groundbreaking research, Dr Chris Baldy and Mark Brunton have been involved in a study which has found high intensity exercise can reduce or reverse the loss in heart function caused by type 2 diabetes. We've gotten really good now at controlling people's glucose and reducing kidney disease and uh, eye disease, retinopathy and blindness is being reduced in diabetes and amputations are being reduced, but people are still dying of heart disease just as much. Former PhD student Genevieve Wilson carried out the study under Dr Baldy's supervision. The study found three months of high intensity training improved heart function in adults without any change in medications or diet. And the argument was of course that people with type 2 diabetes would never do anything so vigorous as that. But we found that they did and in fact they enjoyed it more than walking the dog and at the end of it the function of their heart had improved. High intensity interval training or HIT involves short intervals of near maximum effort in exercises like sprinting or stair climbing separated by intervals of moderate intensity exercise like jogging. Uh, for the first time we showed that you could actually improve heart health with exercise in middle-aged people with type 2 diabetes. Participants in the study say high intensity training is more enjoyable than less vigorous exercise. But I found the program really, really good in that you were with others who had similar issues, a similar condition, and, and as a group it sort of made you work sort of slightly more competitively together. The findings of the study have just been published in the American College of Sports Medicine's journal in Dunedin, the South today.